Mike asked me to show everyone the Fusion 428. This is a 2022 Fusion 428, 45 foot long, fifth wheel, triple axle, toy off. Let's take a walk around it. So on the side, all trailers now they come with these stickers right here. So the unloaded vehicle weight is 16,000 pounds. Your GVWR, which is your gross vehicle weight rating, is 20,000 pounds. And so that means my wife can put 4,000 pounds of shit in there. <laughs> and we'll keep going. Um, hot water heater here. Here's uh, your control stations. Your tank flush is where you load up your fresh water tank. So you winterize it. Uh, they call this an outdoor shower. You'd have to put something else on there. Um, in there you have a pass-through storage, power inverter, amplifier, a couple nice features in there. And here. It's your hydraulic fluid for all your jacks right there. Uh, it's all self-leveling. Very nice. In here, controls the up and down jacks for when you hook up. Hot water heater is tankless, propane, on demand, continuous, unlimited. Very nice for when you're camping. Or some people make all this plan. Back here you have a fuel reservoir. So when you fill up right here, it's a 30 gallon tank. This is also a 30 gallon tank. This tank feeds your onboard generator. This tank is just you know, pump it up for whatever you want. Put it in your car, dirt bike, motorcycle. Or my plan is, I'll pump it in for the generator. So you hold mm. 60 gallons there. Ladder to get on top. This right here. This is how you load up your toys. It doesn't have the latch system. It's really simple. You turn the key. Boom. Open right up. Drops down, still loaded. All you have to do, now that we're going to get into this, is this ray coming in. Simply undo these cables. And now uh, we're going to ram and slide those doors open. You can try it right now. As you can see, we have some inclement weather coming in here. So, to shut this, it's very simple. Just close the door. It's done. And there's more storage. Out here we have an outdoor kitchen. A uh, small basic. A little fridge, a burner, a TV. You need to see even a camping box. This is one side. This is the other end of the pass through storage here. Battery bank. There's room for three. I have two. Probably because the dealer is too cheap to put three in. In here. For storage. That's your generator, 550, or 5500, excuse me. Now what I was told is that a generator is only powerful enough to run two out of the three air conditioners. And here's where you have your propane. All right, let's go inside, it's starting to rain. All right, so I don't have an extension cord long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the generator. And she's running now. We'll get to the main page, and we're gonna push out the slides. Hit the slide button. We're going to start with the sofa slide. Why don't I turn the lights on? We have a light switch. So everything's controlled by this. Interior lights panel. are on. Go back to slides. And I've only owned this camper for a few months. It's only been on one camping trip. Um, honestly, you can live on it.
to do the rain starting to come. And right now we're completely on our own. We're not plugged in. We're just strictly running off generator. I'm going to push that kitchen side out. So if you're not familiar with campers, these are opposing slides which gives you the maximum amount of room in the, in the living space. There's a ton of living space in here. How tall are the ceilings in here? I have no idea. Um, I would, I'd say nine foot. Well, let's see. Maybe eight and a half. Familiar with campers? This camper has opposing slides which maximizes your living room. I mean, there's a ton of space in here. I'm not trying to sell Fusion, but actually it is for sale. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description below. Um, Beanbags bags for the boat. Use this to go fishing. Anyways, the back, I haul a golf cart back here. Um, your friends can stay back here, whatever. I have some other things stored here because I'm not using it. There's a half bath right here. And then you have two queen size bunk beds. The lower one you see coming down right now folds into a dinette with two benches, otherwise it can be used as a bunk bed. Now the way it comes, if you slept on it, just how it is, there's a lot of, you feel the bars and whatnot in it, so we just added some padding because we like our friends and family. So we just want to make them a little more comfortable. And otherwise we keep it up, we put the golf cart in here, I store my slider hitch in here for, uh, for moving it. And uh, it has a power inverter, you don't want to turn it on when the generator's running. Uh, when you're running the generator, you definitely don't want to be plugged in. If you're plugged in at the campground and you lose power, you want to turn your generator on. Make sure you either turn your breaker off of where you're plugged in at the campground or unplug your rig. Then turn on the generator. You don't want the power fighting each other. So the way this fridge works, this was a little bit of a cheesy design by Keystone here. This just, I think they just fed in a female nut for that chaff to go in there door shut. But with the power inverter on 12 volt battery system, this fridge, shit, I think I had it on for three days now plugged in. When you're going down the road, when you're plugged in your truck, this fridge will keep on, it'll keep on. It'll stay on. It'll take out the other two things in the same. So it's running off the batteries. Correct. Yeah, with the 12, with the power inverter, it converts 12 volts to 120 volts, which and you got a refrigerator pull. And you got to turn that on. Yeah, you do. There's just a switch over here. Just hit select. Power. Pull it down. There it is. Right now, okay. running 14.2 volts. All right. The bathroom up here. Um, if you've ever owned an RV before, you know that they're not built at the highest quality but they are you know they, they, they need a little bit of love when they're fresh out of the box this is the bedroom slide comes out here there's a washer dryer hook up here oh wow nice big closet so this camper stock comes with, they call it an RV king. So if, if you look at what I have in here right now, I put a brand new queen size mattress in. And if you were to add, you know, three inches on each side, snug to the walls, that's your RV king. And the mattress that comes with is about two inches thick and it's extremely uncomfortable. And to buy an RV king, you have to spend a fortune. And, you know, honestly, bring this mattress up here 
I'm not the smallest guy. This guy's bigger, this guy's smaller. Women smaller and bigger. But you really don't have much room at all. This match is something here. So, we brought it down to a queen. And um, it, it's worked, it worked out well on our one camping trip. And, um, well. Right. So, we have a TV in the master bedroom. There's a dresser. There's also an air conditioning unit right above you. So you can put it as cold as you absolutely want. You control everything from here. So you go to the HVAC setting, bedroom AC, set at 80. This is Florida, so it's hot down here. And you have the main living, it's also set at 80. You can put that at 71. Garage AC. Okay, so when I bought this, they told me I could only run I can only run two of these air conditioners with that generator. So each air conditioner runs 12 and a half amps. This is the 50 amp service. All right. So, so when you're running the generator, you can only run two out of the three air conditioners. Each air conditioner pulls 12 and a half amps, which would be 37 and a half amps total. This RV has a 50 amp power system, um, 5,500 watt generator, so I don't know what watts is to amps. But right now I've turned on all three air conditioners just to test it, because I don't generally run the generator in. They're all running, so we'll see what happens. And the fridge is on. We haven't turned on the microwave yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to, because we're probably gonna blow some kind of breaker or something. But it also has Central back system, which I think is a little cheesy, but now, what's, what's that for? Well, you can sweep your debris, you can sweep your floor, oh, right into there. Otherwise, to open that hole. You can um, vacuum the camper with a vacuum hose if it's not supplied by the dealer. <laughs> that is extra. <laughs> Uh, but we like this smile because there's there's so much space. Uh, for a camper, I mean, you have a nice, big, three-seater, almost four-seater couch. You have your love seat here. This love seat actually folds out into a bed. There's a TV here. There's a TV outside. There's a TV in that room. There's a TV in there. I don't really watch TV, but if you like TV when you're camping, this is perfect. So much space in the living area. Also. There's a loft up here. The ladder is stored underneath the ceiling, right in here. And the living room air conditioning unit is right above there. So if you have someone staying up there, they want to stay nice and cool, you just flip that flap and you have nice ice cold air blowing on it. So a big selling point for my wife on this camper. Look at that pantry. Unbelievable. It's emptied out now, but it really was I mean, I don't know if you got any more in it. My son likes to play in it. This is a residential refrigerator. It's counter depth, which made me realize I don't care how far it sticks up from my countertop inside of my kitchen at my house. I'm never buying a counter depth refrigerator. You put a gallon of milk in there, it's full. But for camping, it's a very nice fridge to have. And you can't really get bigger than a residential counter depth in a camper. Have freezer. I think that we did put a frozen pizza in here sideways once. Maybe take that out. That's a freezer where you keep your pots and pans or your pot, whatever you want. But even in 2022, uh, camper stove. Just so you have your pilot light down there. Put on the gas, get your lighter out. But that's part of it, it's part of camping, uh, more glamping. So look at the storage of the Fusion 428. You have just tons of overhead cabinet space, your upper cabinets, um, plenty deep, deep enough for plates, pots, pans, I keep a toaster up there, usually a Keurig, 
underneath here, tons of room, tons of stuff. The plumbing is back there. Um, drawers on this side, more storage. You've got storage above the microwave over here. You have storage above the refrigerator. You have a huge pantry. You have storage you get above this couch here. And not to mention these couches, they have vibrating, heated, and you have party lights. So there you have it, folks. The 2022 Fusion 428. Low price of $199,000. Okay, so as you saw when we came in, we were not plugged in. We turned the generator on, and I was told when I purchased this that you were only able to run two air conditioners on generator power. I turned on all three just to see what would happen. It's been over a half hour. All three of them are still running full strength, and we've had zero issues. So in my review of the generator air conditioner scenario, you are able to run all three air conditioners. So far, I've not had an issue. Um, nothing, no breakers have tripped, and uh, nothing's cut out. So in conclusion with the 2022 Fusion 428, this model of any toy that we've looked at and I love the toy home. You put your guests back there, they got the half bath, they're not bothering you. And for the rest of it, they can go to the bathhouse. You put your golf cart, you put your motorcycles, you put whatever you want back there. Um, tons of room for everybody inside. And the onboard generator, we're sitting near the air conditioner. Boy, has not caught up to the weather we have right now. But I have all three air conditioners running on this. I have a residential, counter depth fridge. Um, you know, I would say that you really can't find a better one. I, would, I just wish I had more time to enjoy it. Um, so I, I give it five stars.